Hey everybody, I just wanted to do a, um, actually a, uh, another video on my SR9. Um, the first time I did one, I was using my webcam, and, uh, unfortunately the sound was terrible, and a lot of people said that they couldn't hear some of my commentary, so. Anyway, here it goes. Uh, just a quick review on the Ruger SR9. Give me a second here. Alright, so, now, um... I kind of have a different uh, point of view than the first time I did this video. I've had this gun now for about two and a half years, um, and in those two and a half years, I've put about, I would say, close to 10,000 rounds through this. Um, I take it with me. It, it kind of just it, it stays in a range bag. It just goes with me anytime I go, no matter what other guns I take. This one always goes with me um, just because it's just um, I just wanted to kind of see... Um, how much it could take. I've had problems with it. Um, I had barrel peening issues, which um, I called Ruger, took pictures of it, emailed it to them, and they basically just, uh, they sent me a, um, a shipping form. Uh, I boxed it up, sent it to them. They replaced the barrel, firing pin. Um, the customer service is outstanding. And um, needless to say, I mean, this... Uh, Although I do have almost 10,000 rounds through it, the new barrel only has about 1,000 rounds through it. So um, overall, this gun's been good to me. Um, let's look at some of the quick features here. First of all, let me just show you safety Nazis. There's nothing here. Uh, let me see, it's kind of a little hard for me to do this with the camera, but there's nothing there. Okay. All right, so a couple features of this gun. Um, it is somewhat ambidextrous. Um, it does have the ambidextrous uh, safety, uh, the external safety here, right there. And when you flip it, it is right there as well. Um, also has the ambidextrous magazine release right there. And right here as well. All right. This up here is a loaded chamber indicator. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm trying to see if, uh, sorry, my zoom is not working. Um, basically, when you have a round in a chamber, this thing pops up like that and the red is visible um i personally don't need that but for a lot of first time go you know um excuse me first time gun owners i think it's probably a good thing um i've just gotten into the habit and years of shooting and handling firearms and um just know to you know to check my firearm and and, and to make sure that it's not loaded uh i do think uh for me personally this is useless however I will say that I think it's a nice feature for uh, for new gun owners. All right, it's got a nice rail right here. I've never this gun is strictly a range gun for me. This is not a home defense gun. I uh, do not put a uh, did not I've never put anything on a rail. You can obviously attach a light, laser, um, anything else that uh, that would uh, fit on a standard rail, as you can see right there. Okay. Um, another thing too, this has the reversible back strap. Um, this is not the back straps that you see today. Uh, again, this gun is, um, you know, this gun is about two and a half years old. But basically, this little part right here, this rubber part right there, I don't know if you can see it. Um, you can pop this little pin out and then take this out. It slides off. It reverses, and the other side has a nice little hump to it, depending on the size of your hand. Um, I do prefer this grip only because I'm a big fan of the 1911, and this is the closest thing I could get to a 1911 in a polymer pistol. Um, I do like it. it. It fits. I mean, it feels great. It's perfect uh, in terms of grip and ergonomics. Um, however. One thing that I don't like compared to the 1911, and obviously I can't compare this um, to a 1911, is the trigger. 
I think the trigger is just definitely too heavy. It's a little gritty. I was hoping it would get better. Um, a lot of people said, you know, shoot it uh, a few thousand rounds and the trigger gets better. It has gotten better, but not <clears throat> not what I expected. Um, there is a modification that you can make to this trigger. Um, they do have a ghost trigger for the SR9. I just haven't done it only because, again, this is not a gun that I carry, um, nor is it a gun that I use for home defense. This is, again, strictly a range gun. Um, as a matter of fact, as much as I love this gun, and I do, and anyone who asks me whether I recommend this gun to anyone, I would say yes. Um, I am selling this gun. Um, and the only reason I'm selling it is because I want to fund another project that I'm working on right now. And um, I've got a baby on the way, second child, and I just can't afford just to go out and uh, buy something. So I kind of looked at my safe and uh, decided that, uh, unfortunately, this one had to be sacrificed. So, um, again, this one is, is uh, it's, uh, it's leaving the herd. So, <laughs> anyway, having said that, <clears throat> again, it is a great gun. I love it. Um, it's very easy to shoot. It's got a three dot sight let me see if i can get that right there i don't know if you can see it here we go it's three dot sight i don't know if that even helps but uh the sights are great they are adjustable for windage and elevation um so again this gun is extremely accurate right out of the box um i have taken care of it i do clean all my guns after every single outing um that's just the way i am i am very anal about it but um, other than that, um, it, it comes with two 17-round magazines right there. It comes with two. I don't know if you can see that. Here, let's flip it on this side. There you go, 17. Hopefully you can see that. Okay. Um, anyway, these magazines are fantastic. Um, they are made in Italy. I can't remember the manufacturer right off the bat, but uh, um, they're just they're great magazines. Um, I do have four of them, um, and I've never, ever, not once had an issue with this handgun and with those magazines. So um, I, I'm truly not sure what this video is about, and uh, other than the fact that some people commented on my first one and said that they couldn't hear what I was saying. But anyway, I mean, this is really not a review. Um, it's simply to kind of show you the features and my thoughts on the gun. Um, you guys may bash me for not really giving you a, uh, you know, either a positive or negative review on this gun. It's a great gun. There's nothing wrong with it. I just got bored. That's basically it. I got bored of this gun. Um, however, it's great. It doesn't, it hasn't failed me yet. Um, when I did have the issue, Ruger made it right. Uh, which, um, you know, I own three other Ruger guns and they're just, they're, they're fantastic. They're, I mean, they stand by their product and if something goes wrong, they fix it. So if you're looking for a great value, nine millimeter handgun, they also make this in the 40 caliber. Um, you can't go wrong with this gun. I definitely would vouch for this and I would trust my life to this gun. So anyway, um, guys, hopefully that kind of covered um, a little bit about the gun and to give you guys an idea of um, how I feel about it after running almost 10,000 rounds through it. So that um, that should say a lot. Um, it's just uh, it keeps going and going and going. And um, I, I am a big fan of Ruger because of that. Please let me know if you have any questions. Please let me know if I miss something. I could always edit this video at a later date. But um, other than that, uh, please leave me any comments, feedback, etc. Thank you very much. Have a great evening.